Hi, and thank you for choosing PyCloud Online. This video will show you how the registration process, how to log in the admin and user portal, and discuss their highlights. So to start, we need to register first for a free trial on our website, which is www.getfilecloud.com. And to those who have already done the registration process, you may skip this part of the video. To continue, so we have here two solutions, PyCloud Server, in FileCloud Online. In this video, let's choose FileCloud Online. We will just need to fill out all of the required fields, such as the name, email, phone number, and the team name, which is going to be your URL. And once you have submitted this form, we will then receive the login credentials in your email which will look like this. Okay, so on the email that you will be receiving, we have three login credentials here, which is for the administrator, user, and the customer portal. So if you notice, there is a difference with the URL with logging in as the administrator. You have to take note of this, which is slash UI slash admin. And for the user would be a slash UI, slash core. Right. So let's try to open this. Now let's try to log in uh, in the admin portal. Okay, so this is how our admin dashboard looks like. It shows a system summary and all of the statistics. First, I'm going to teach you is how to add a user. So on our left side, we have different settings in here. And let's click first users. Okay, so we have two options to add users. First is through our default file called built-in database, and second is through Active Directory. So for the first option, let's click Add User, and simply type the username, display name, password, and email, and take your preferred boxes here. So you also need to select and set the access level for all of the users, where full users have control over its own private cloud storage, while guest users have restricted access to PyCloud system and do not have their own private cloud storage, and the limited users who can only access PyCloud through a web browser, and this does not count against your license. All right, so let's create a user with full access. So later in this video, I am also going to show you how a user shares a file to another user. With that, let's, let's add one more. Okay, so we have successfully added uh, two users. Now the second option lets you integrate your Active Directory into FileCloud. So you can just import all of the users from Active Directory, which is especially helpful if you are adding a lot of users. Now to do that, let's go to the settings here on the left side, click Authentication, and select Active Directory. And in here, you need to configure various Active Directory settings and afterwards, you can check AD tests to confirm successful integration of your Active Directory. Then you can then go back to Manage Users and click Import. Okay. So next is how to create a team folder. Now the administrator can manage a uh, folders that are shared 
to allow for collaboration among users or even groups. And those folders are what we call team folders. Now let's click add folder here and let's name this one as HR. So we have created now a team folder named HR and we can now give a user access to this team folder. So to do that, click manage. Do you want to share this item? Select OK. So now it shows up the share options, the share permissions, and the share URL. So we have two types of share here in FileCloud. First is public share, and the second one is private share. So public share allows you to share the folder to anyone inside and outside your organization without the recipient having to log into FileCloud. Whereas private share allows you to share to specific file cloud users or groups. So please note that in public share, you can also select uh, specific permissions here, such as view and upload only, or upload only for that external user, or view plus download. And you can also share directly this URL and they can access to the file. Now let's give a user access to this team folder by clicking add guests and let's search for the user that we just recently created. Then the administrator have the option to send an email notification to the user that the team folder has been shared or we can close this one. Then another feature that we have here is, then, is that we can allow specific share permissions so we have allow view or download only. So on this user, let's try to give her all of the access, which is upload, allow share, and allow sync as well. Now let's click close. No need to click any save button as it will automatically save your changes. Now to completely test our team folder, let's try to add, which we can easily just drag and drop. All right, so now we will log in as the user that we just created. Okay, so since this is a new account, it will pop up a the getting started dialogue, which is a walkthrough that the new user sees the first time you log into the portal. And then we're done. So this is the user portal. My files is the private cloud storage since this is a user with full access. And now we access team folders. And there we can see the HR team folder that was shared by the administrator. Now, finally, let's do a user share. So if you want to share this file to another user in the organization, select the file, click share. This is the share URL. And we can go the, here in the advanced options. And we are seeing the same uh, permission screen here and to share this one to another uh, user in the organization let's click allow selected users or groups and select again add guests which is user John all right so aside from sharing this file to another user you can also uh, share this one to a specific group. All right, so we have already covered the basic features of FileCloud, which is how to add a user, how to create a team folder, and how to do a user share. So all of our documentations is available at getfilecloud.com slash support docs. You can search for anything here that can guide you with your technical concerns. And also if you'd like to 
to reach out to our technical support, you can go to our support portal, which is help.codelace.com. That's help.codelace.com. Then we also conduct weekly webinars. You can find it in our website under resources and click webinars. And you can register here. We also have a tutorial page, which consists of quick demo videos for your reference. Okay, again, thank you for being our customer and welcome to File Cloud.